So you should be familiar with the fact that uh, if we've got a finite set of size n, then the total number of possible subsets of that set uh, is 2 to the power n. Okay, so this little demonstration is just sort of supposed to help explain why that is. So we start with a case of a uh, set of size 1, just uh, one element, which might as well just be the number 1. And so the claim is that this should have 2 to the 1 subsets, in other words, two subsets. And uh, that's easy to see if that's right. Um, you've got the empty set or the full set, uh, just curly brackets 1. So now let's go on and have a look at a set of size 2, say 1, 2. So how do we find a subset of this? Well, uh, we've got the subsets of curly bracket 1 that we had previously. Those are listed above the dotted line here. Uh, and those are certainly still subsets of curly bracket 1, 2. Um, but uh, those are in fact all the subsets of 1, 2 that don't contain 2. Uh, but then we also need to consider the uh, subsets of 1, 2 that do contain 2. Uh, to get one of those, we just take one of the old subsets uh, that we had above the dotted line and just add a 2 to it. So we add 2 to the empty set here, we get the set curly bracket 2 here. We set add 2 to curly bracket 1, you get curly bracket 1, 2. So we've got all the old subsets above the line and the same number of new sets below the line. So we've doubled the total number of sets. So before we had 2 to the 1, in other words, 2 sets. And now we've got twice 2 to the 1, which is 2 squared, or 4 sets. Okay. 4 sub total subsets of curly bracket 1, 2. So then we can go on to a uh, set of size 3 uh, and just do the same sort of thing, right? So we're looking at the set 1, 2, 3, a set of size 3, and we want all the subsets of that. So to the left here of this dotted line, we've got all the subsets of 1, 2. They still count as subsets of 1, 2, 3. Those are all the subsets of 1, 2 that don't contain 3. And if you want the subsets of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 that do contain 3, well, we just take the sets on the left of the dotted line and add a 3 to them. That gives us all these four sets on the right of the dotted line. So before we had uh, 2 squared equals 4 subsets, and uh, now we've got twice as many because we've got all the ones on the left and all the ones on the right. So now we've, the total number of subsets that we've got is twice 2 squared, which is 2 cubed, which is 8. And then we can just do it again. We look at the uh, set 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, to get the subsets of that. You know, above the dotted line are all the ones that don't contain 4. Below the dotted lines are all the ones that do contain 4. They're obtained just by taking the ones above the dotted line and adding a 4 to them. Uh, and so we've doubled the total number of subsets. You know, before it was 8 and now it's 16. And that illustrates the general principle. If you've got a finite set of size n, then the total number of subsets is 2 to the n.